ongoing concerns about the Zika virus as we head into the long holiday weekend where people will be traveling. That's right. Even if you're not heading to a place affected by the Zika virus, a lot of people will be spending time outside and in areas where there are a lot of mosquitoes out there. News 8's Renee Shamil joins us now live to tell us how to stay safe. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Keith. Good morning, Laura. There are daily flights to Puerto Rico and to other countries that are affected by Zika, and the State Department of Public Health is now warning travelers to be careful, and that's especially true for pregnant women and for women who are planning to become pregnant. They're urged not to visit countries that have Zika at all if possible, and that's because the virus has been linked to birth defects in women infected during pregnancy. And it's expected to continue spreading. Zika could infect roughly 700,000 people in Puerto Rico alone by the end of the year. Since Zika virus is mainly spread through mosquito bites, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention urge travelers to protect themselves by preventing mosquito bites in the first place. The best way to protect yourself? Wear insect repellent, and if you can, wear long sleeve shirts and pants. And stay in places with air conditioning or use window or door screens to keep the bugs outside. Zika virus can also be spread sexually. If you're coming back to the United States after visiting an area with Zika, you're urged to take steps to prevent mosquito bites for three weeks after returning. That way you don't spread the virus to uninfected mosquitoes. There's still no medicine for Zika. Live in the studio, I'm Renee Schmiel, Keith and Laura, back to you. Renee, thank